you know, because I had quite a lot of friends before, obviously, before I had Chris, but there was quite a few of my friends that didn't bother after that, wasn't there? As Sue Radford casually announces the filming of a brand new season of the ever popular 22 Kids and Counting, I feel it's an opportune time to take a look at the highs and extreme lows of the last fabulous season. I know, I know, it shocked me too that Channel 5 would continue to support this shit show, but who knew that a television channel as upstanding as Channel 5 would lack the morals. Now, I know you've all watched intently as season 3 was dramatically unleashed upon us late last year. The edge of your seat stuff as Sue answered the call from her daughter who had been rushed to hospital to give birth. Would it be a boy or would it be a girl? The tension was so much as we awaited news of what we already knew because it you know we follow the channel on, on youtube and stuff you know the latest radford had been born and exploited not just by her family but by the huge channel 5 television conglomerate as well my waters have gone but there's blood in it so i've rang delivery suite and they've said um, it's an obstetrics emergency, so I need to ring an ambulance. Now, my question there would be, was that a set-up phone call? Was it a reenactment of a phone call? Was it a pre-planned phone call? Did they know that they were going to make a phone call to emergency services and get Channel 5 to record it? Or did they... <laughs> reenact it what happened okay i i need to know what happened same with this one i think oh eh oh your water's gone i think so well, i think so right all right i'm just getting dressed now i'm coming up do you want me to come up no. got any bleeding or anything though have you yeah there's blood in it any thoughts that I had that I was being insensitive towards this particular topic goes out of the window when Channel 5 put on the dramatic music to the sound, <laughs> to the thought that this mother-to-be was having difficulty with a birth. Got any bleeding or anything though, have you? Yeah, there's blood in it. Just what Imagine the absolute cretins at Channel 5 that thought to themselves during editing i know this seems like a good time to put the dramatic music just to amp it up a little bit because you know it's not a serious topic or anything like that no we we need to engage our viewers yeah, the blood in it. Just what but it wasn't all dramatic that first episode oh no we had sue running <laughs> just running basically and it was quite the sight the question is, after 16 years of pregnancy, will running work for Sue? Probably not. Probably not, I'd say. Probably not. However, by episode two, we had a full-blown RV motorhome type situation on our hands. So clearly not going to be running anywhere from now on. It's motorhoming all the way. Is that your freaking mother? What is she doing? That's... Come here. Oh, oh. Wow, Sue, that's a huge purchase. A motorhome without telling your husband. You know, you shouldn't really spend so much money without the okay, you know, without the agreement of both parties. But you do you, Sue. If you want to buy a motorhome without your husband knowing, that's fine. If you want to surprise him, I'm sure he got the shock of his life once he checked the bank balance, didn't he? What the hell? Or maybe, maybe it's Channel 5 overemphasizing things a little bit in the whole old surprise stakes, you know, and the whole skit was just a, a sketch, right? <laughs> you know? 
it's not as if you've got a YouTube channel or anything which may tell something completely different to what Channel 5 is portraying it as. In any case, Episode 3 came along and you were looking at up in sticks and, and getting your house valued. I hope you got a good price for it, Sue. We really need four seven five to five hundred thousand to make this move a reality. Anything below that is not really great. How many bedrooms has that house got? You've got like twenty odd people living there. You're only hope <laughs> you're only hoping for half a million. Where the hell do you live? It's like the worst estate in the country or something. Anyway. <laughs> Also in that episode, they happen to be nominated for an award. The Radfords have some good news. Their family business has been nominated for an award. So it was a family business award, which was voted for by, ironically, the thousands of people that uh, follow them and support them every day. So it really didn't mean an awful lot it may be a a good business it may not be a good business but it's a complete false sense of reality given they have a youtube channel and they are basically reality tv stars rather than business people if you see what i mean so yeah spoiler alert though they didn't win uh, this other people won and yeah, it was a very disappointing night. I'm sorry, no, but I think you deserve to win, personally. I think we should move to Florida. Florida? Yeah, what do you think? Plus so we get holiday out of it. Well, Any excuse for a holiday, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, you and Chris Ingham, you should go together, move out there together, set up a little area for your, your, your whatever it is that you both get up to uh, anyway so florida yeah any excuse for a holiday isn't it you don't need any excuse for a holiday do you not with your 11 plus holidays a year no if 26 was good that will be the biggest that it is isn't it the biggest yeah. trip we've ever we've, done we've never gone on holiday with that many people God. Can I just point out the extreme cost of 26 people going on holiday to Florida? Can I, I, did you take in Disney whilst you were there? Did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? It's, it's, that, it's like tens of thousands, tens upon tens upon tens of thousands is going to cost, right? Any, 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 <laughs> any excuse for a holiday though, right? No. But who's paying for it? I... I don't know, maybe Channel 5 fronted the cost because, you know, who else is going to give them quality content like this? Sending 26 people to Florida. Just insanity. Insane. I don't look, I don't look, so Look at her. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. Go on, Katie, you can do it. She's going in. You just got to look at the um, the scriptedness of the the whole Channel Five show. It's not entirely real life, is it? I mean, it's kind of it shows their life, and yet it shows it in a kind of skewed way. Imagine standing there in front of the cameras, the film crew, whilst your daughter is taking her driving test but stood there watching her taking her driving test. Most people wouldn't do that. Don't you know? But yeah, they also had a little bit of a stress head on because one of their children, Josh, was having a bit of a hard time. Well, he was the one that was causing the hard time. And, you know, they didn't know what to do. He's a teenager, right? They go to bed as a 12-year-old, wake up the next morning, 13, a teenager, and it did just change. Completely change. Happy birthday, Kevin! Happy birthday to thee! Happy birthday to thee! Happy birthday, Jake! Go! Go! Kevin! Go! Darling, he's losing the power of rational thought. The use of his arms. He's become a teenager. Kevin! What? It's 9.45. It is. It's school. 
Looks like Josh is in trouble again. But again, my point from earlier remains, how do these phone calls actually happen? Is he reenacting a phone call that actually happened? Or did they decide once the phone was ringing to put the cameras on him? Or did they tell the phone to tell the school to phone at a particular time so that they could capture it on camera? What actually happened? Because this is obviously not actually what happened. So it's just so insanely fake. Okay, the fakeness is just oozing out of their pores. And of course, influencers would not be influencers without capturing a moment of pure and unbridled generosity caught on camera obviously you know as it happened because if they don't show it then it doesn't happen so they had to show it the radfords are filling personalized bags with an essential selection of properly fitting school clothes for every child the charity is helping and that was the cost of living crisis episode which also had no just in almost in tears, right? Do you remember? It was almost in tears because he couldn't afford to pay the electricity. You know, they were so skint that they kept having blackouts and everything. They couldn't afford to pay the electricity. Absolutely insane. I just, I love poverty stricken YouTubers. It's just, you know, so relatable and everything. But the next episode was my absolute favourite of them all. All because of the absolute reality ness of them all. Secret meeting at Millie's house, are you ready? Get your shoes on. Oh, a secret meeting. A secret meeting between all the kids of the family. I wonder what this secret meeting could be all about. We're here today to all kind of come up with a plan so that we can just go to mum and dad and say, look, you are going away. This is what's going on. This is how it's going to work. And you've no choice, but you are going away for your 30th anniversary because you deserve it. And they did it, didn't they? They did do it. They managed to get their mum and dad away for a romantic getaway in the Maldives. I wonder who paid for that. Can you imagine the situation? Mum, we are will not take no for an answer. You are absolutely, definitely, definitely going away for your anniversary. It's in the most expensive place on earth. We're sending you to the Maldives. It's lovely there, but it's going to cost you so many thousand pounds, right? And Sue says, no, no, fucking hell no. And, you know, that is how it will go. So who paid for it? Did the kids pay for it? I mean, they do have savings, right? I mean, they're, they're, they've been exploited since 16 Kids and Counting, you know? So they must have a fair chunk of cash in the bank. They could have paid for it, I guess. But my guess is that Channel 5 probably stumped it up and also put them up to this whole charade. Got some news, I guess you could say. Don't keep them in suspense, Noel. I'm sort of wanting to try and hang my apron up and retire. And speaking of fakeness, bloody hell, what was that whole episode about? <laughs> Noel was, yep, yeah, he was absolutely, definitely, definitely going to retire. And he put it down to his two kids, whether or not, or who was going to persuade him to give over the reins of the business to them. So they had this whole to-do. Will it be this person? Will it be her? Will it be him? And at the end of the show, it was nobody. Noel decided, oh, no, I'm not going to retire after all. So, you know, the whole episode was like, ah, sod you then. But the next episode, they went, they went down memory lane. This was beautiful. Just watch this. Absolutely beautiful. I love nothing more than a trip down memory lane and so does Noel because it reminds him of what he is it's 27 years since Sue saw Karen and 12 since she saw Lorraine 
she went to see some of her, of her bridesmaids that were at the wedding who she hasn't seen for many years and i do think that this happens quite a lot of the, the time to people they lose touch with people who were very important in their lives back then however it's quite telling the fact that since sue has bred and bred and bred and bred with well, no, <laughs> you know, that not many people want to be in touch with her anymore. You know, because I had quite a lot of friends before, obviously, before I had Chris, but there was quite a few of my friends that didn't bother after that, wasn't there? Imagine admitting that on national TV. Imagine, <laughs> imagine actually going through this process on national TV, the fact that you had a child with, well... No, <laughs> and once that child was born, none of your friends wanted to know anymore. I think there was a reason why that was. It's not because, you know, again, there's times when young people have children and their friends, they don't want to hang out with you anymore because, you know, you've got a baby now. But on this situation, it's slightly different, isn't it? And uh, it's one that we can't shy away from, you know, as a responsible channel that I am here. I have to tell it as it is. And, you know, Noel got Sue pregnant when he was 17 and she was 13. You know, it. we can't beat around the bush any longer, okay? It is what it is. We need to say it as it is. And Channel 5, <laughs> I don't know. We just don't know. They just continue to air the shit with the shit. Sue and Noel didn't just have to cope with having a young baby. There was a lot of people that were like, no, they will never last, weren't they? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh, but how can Channel 5 just put that out there without at least sniggering about it or just with a straight face because... Sue and Noel didn't just have to cope with having a young baby. No, there were rumours about Sue and Noel. And uh, with justification, people were a bit like, they're not going to last, are they? Jesus. Yeah, we are both adopted, but I, don't, I'm, I just don't think it's affected our relationship in any way, has it? We're just no. normal people, aren't we? And that's it. Indeed. Indeed, far from it not affecting your relationship, you you both being adopted, I've heard a little dicky bird told me that it in fact got you both together, weren't you both in foster care or something to get together and you know, that is how you met, so it kind of pushed you together rather than got you apart, is that fair to say, no? Um... I don't, I don't even know why I don't like talking about it. I don't know. It's just... It's... I'll tell you why you don't like talking about it, No, It's because it was illegal. It was wrong. It was immoral. And it was illegal. And yet you continue to do it. Imagine, imagine a scenario, okay, if you will. You, you know, you're 17 years of age. You meet a 13-year-old. She was just 12 a few months before, you know, so... You're nearly 18. She's on the closer side to being 12. Yeah, you, you you know, you put those figures together. It doesn't sound all that great, does it? For starters, no, you, you have sex, right? And you do that. And then, I don't know, she gets pregnant, right? <laughs> some, some crazy story like that. And then, and then what happens is she has a baby and... Yeah, you turn 18, she turns 14, okay? It doesn't sound quite as bad when you put it that way, does it, to be fair? But you probably continued, you know, having sex for the next few years. So, you know, you were 18, 19, you know, see where I'm coming from. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm talking about you. I'm, I'm just talking about a fictional character here, okay? So that's the scenario. And um, what do you think? No. <laughs> do, you, do you think that was a reasonable behaviour or 
bordering on the uh, illegal. Sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there. I was supposed to be talking about the show, nothing about, you know, legalities or anything like that. So, what do we think? Upcoming season, series, season four, are they, will they, Channel 5, because they follow them around and they film amazing episodes, you know, filming them, you know, on the phone to schools and such brilliance it, it i can't wait so will they include the the punch up where um sue was knocked out by by millie's boyfriend will they show that episode or you know the one where where chris was crying on the phone and you know wanting to top himself and things like that would these make it to air do we think or do we think they might just skirt over that? Because after all, they do show their real lives, don't they? So I'm thinking that that's got to make the final cut. And if not, let's get on to Channel 5, see if it can become an episode. Okay, thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for you. Thumbs up not so much for them. Please give it <laughs> a thumbs up is what I mean. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked Comment everything you want to comment down below. Are you looking forward to the new season of 22 Kids and Counting? Or could you not care less? Let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos. I've got a cracking one coming up on these. So hush hush though. Until next time. Have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye bye.